Hi guys, and today I'll be showing you how to motorize your 42108 mobile crane. As far as I know, no one has ever done it yet. These are the pieces you will need. First, you will need the concrete pillar, but that comes with the set, so you don't need to um, you don't need to worry about that. Then you'll need two of these Technic bars. They have to be identical. You'll need two different colour 1x2 smooth pieces. You'll need two te Lego Technic pins with no f without friction. You need five Lego Technic pins with friction. A, um, I think, nine stud long axle. And a Lego Technic, I don't know, maybe changer piece. So, the power functions, you will need this Lego Technic, I mean this Lego um, switch. You find it in the power functions set. You will also need three M motors, which are also available in the power function set, but it only comes with one. You will need a Lego um, power battery pack, a, a um, controller with the levers and one receiver. So let's get started. First, you'll need to take the knobs off that you turn as I have and take the yellow spacers off. You will not need this again. Then you'll get the bar and you'll place the Lego Technic pin with friction on one of the holes, so here, and you're going to place the Technic bar on it attached like this. So you should get something looking like this. Do that on both sides. So the other side, you'll you'll have two holes free, but you should only use one of them, one of the pins. Now you're going to get a Technic pin, and you're going to put it underneath the um, underneath the axle sticking out of the build. So you're going to do that with both of them, or with both of the sides. And then you're going to attach, and then you're going to bring up the, um, the arm of the build so that you can um, attach the things that go here. It takes a very long time, so I suggest switching these two cogs around, but it might take a bit longer with the motor. It's still pretty fast without turning that. So now you're going once you've bring it up to bring it up to the full height, which we're looking done in a minute, that you are going to get your battery pack and you're going to make sure that the plug is on the left. So I put Lego Technic pins with studs on, just there to hold it on, but it's your choice. And then you're just gonna put it on like that. Now, you're going to get your Lego Technic um, uh, switch, and you're going to place it just where one of where the last hole is on the um, square Technic piece, so here, and you're going to put an axle through where the square is, no, the rectangle is, 
and you're going to just make sure that it can go through and there's a axle hole on the switch and you're going to just put the axle through the axle hole and then it'll be half done with the three quarters done with the um, arm now you're going to get your converter piece let's say and you're going to place it on just the other side here now to check that it works you're going to move the Technic connect converter piece and when you move it the switch should move as well if it does you've done it perfectly now you're going to get your first motor and you're going to place it just on the part where you ex where you bring up the where you bring up the arm that's the first one and you're going to get this the plug from it and you're going to place it on the switch and you're also going to get the plug from the switch and place it on the battery pack that's the first motor complete now you're going to get your second motor and you're going to place one of the colours I chose blue and you're going to place it here on the plug now with this one you're going to get the motor and you're going to place it right next to the first one so like this and then you're just going to leave this one hanging for now you're going to get your very last motor you're going to place your other one by two on it and I'll turn this round for you and you're going to place it on this one and there now you will get your um, yes your receiver you're going to place the the one which makes the boom extension move and you're going to place it on the red one and you're going to place the other one with the colour on on the blue one now you'll have a sort of anyway um, you're going to get the wire that comes from the receiver and you're going to place it on the battery pack that's the wiring done and also if you're wondering for some to, for something to attach this to your controller you're going to get one of these pins place it in the middle of the concrete um, pillar and you're going to just put it onto the side of it and it makes a pretty cool fidget, fidget toy as well anyway let's leave that for now as you can see you only have one piece left so let's put the receiver in first you're going to take off the sides of your cockpit or whatever it is from the um, crane part so you're just going to place them on the side here now you're going to take off the control place and you can put it wherever you want but I chose here so you're going to get a pin and put it inside where where um, it used to be but you're only going to get one and you're just going to place it wherever you want or you can just not put it on at all now you're going to get your receiver and you're going to put the receiver in like this and then you're going to bring this up and place your sides 
on to the um, driver's seat cabin and you're just going to place both of them on like this. Now congratulations you have finished motorising your Lego Technic crane. Now, when you turn on the battery pack, turning this will make the boom rise and lower. So if you put it this way, it's going to um, go down. And if you put it the other way, it's obviously going to go up. Now, the blue lever is going to control the hook going up and down and the red lever is going to control the boom extension going up and down so let's see it in action as you can see it moves very fast so it goes up a lot quicker than it did before and then you're going to bring down the hook and you can also bring the boom extension up. Just make sure that um, it can't go further up because sometimes it just stops. And there, it's at its full at its full height. Then to bring it down, you just do exactly what you just did, but the other way around. And there you go. It's done. If you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment or a like and I'll see you in the next video. So bye.